Ocean plastic pollution is a pressing crisis. Cleaning the ocean is complex. A substantial proportion of ocean plastic pollution can be traced back to rivers. The success of the Rio Ozama project is cause for celebration. Ocean plastic pollution is a pressing crisis that requires innovative solutions. The Ocean Cleanup, founded by Boyan Slat, proposed using U-shaped barriers to collect debris. While progress has been made in the Pacific, the focus now shifts to rivers, major carriers of plastic waste. Giant trash barriers, interceptors are being explored to combat river plastic pollution in this video. Urgent attention is needed to address this global issue. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch and the Ocean Cleanup's Progress The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a distressing symbol of ocean plastic pollution. Boy and Slats' plan to clean it up with U-shaped barriers inspired the Ocean Cleanup Organization. Despite challenges, they removed 200-plus metric tons of trash. Cleaning the ocean is complex, as the patch consists of swirling debris. Ocean plastic pollution remains a significant problem, demanding innovative solutions and collective action. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a call to address this crisis together. Focusing on rivers, the primary source of ocean plastic. Recent research has highlighted a sobering fact. A substantial proportion of ocean plastic pollution can be traced back to rivers. These rivers act as vital channels, transporting debris from inland areas directly to the open sea. Acknowledging this critical link in the plastic pollution chain, Boyan Slat and his team have made a strategic shift, focusing their efforts on combating the issue at its source. The interceptors, Innovative machines designed by the Ocean Cleanup represent the organization's response to the problem of river-borne plastic waste. These devices are ingeniously placed strategically within rivers, where they work tirelessly to capture and trap plastic debris before it can make its way into the vast expanse of open waters. Equipped with solar panels, the interceptors boast an uninterrupted operation, ensuring they continue their crucial work even under the cover of darkness, by intercepting the plastic waste before it reaches the ocean. These river-based cleanup mechanisms hold significant promise for stemming the flow of plastic pollution. Tackling the problem at its origin can have a profound impact on preventing further contamination of our oceans and marine ecosystems. Strategically deploying interceptors in key river locations is a crucial aspect of this approach. Identifying rivers that serve as major conduits for plastic waste is essential for maximizing the effectiveness of these devices. Additionally, working in collaboration with local communities and governments is vital to address the root causes of plastic pollution and implement sustainable waste management practices. The Rio Ozama Project – A Glimpse into the Potential of Interceptors The Rio Ozama Project in the Dominican Republic stands as a shining example of the interceptor's effectiveness in combating river-borne plastic pollution. The Ocean Cleanup implemented a strategic plan by installing an interceptor approximately one mile downstream in the Rio Ozama. As a result of this initiative, an estimated 22,000 metric tons of plastic waste are intercepted and prevented from entering the Caribbean Sea each year. Undoubtedly, this intervention has made a significant impact in reducing the flow of plastic waste into the ocean, thus safeguarding the delicate marine ecosystems of the region. While the success of the Rio Ozama project is cause for celebration, it is equally vital to address the root causes of plastic pollution in the area. Proper waste management practices and limited waste disposal options for local communities residing along the riverbanks play a significant role in contributing to plastic pollution in the Rio Ozama. Without addressing these underlying issues, the problem will persist and the interceptor's efforts may only offer a temporary respite. Working in close collaboration with local communities is a crucial step in tackling the problem at its core. Engaging residents in waste management and recycling initiatives can help reduce the amount of plastic waste entering the river. Moreover, investing in waste collection infrastructure and providing viable alternatives for waste disposal can prevent trash from accumulating in the waterways. Challenges and Concerns while interceptors hold promise in battling ocean plastic pollution, some experts express concerns about their potential impact on ecosystems. Machines could inadvertently strip rivers and oceans of essential materials, disrupting the delicate balance of aquatic life. Additionally, 
Interceptors may not be effective in capturing certain types of pollution, such as non-floating plastics and chemicals. Alternatives to interceptors Targeting plastic clusters and reducing production To complement the efforts of interceptors, researchers propose alternative strategies to combat plastic pollution. One approach is to target clusters of plastic, known as plastic dust bunnies, which tend to accumulate in specific areas in the open ocean. Focusing on removing these clusters, which often contain harmful fishing gear, can prove more efficient in reducing the damage caused to marine life. Moreover, addressing the issue at its core requires concerted efforts to reduce plastic production, encouraging responsible waste management practices, promoting recycling, and supporting companies that prioritize sustainable packaging are vital steps in this direction. A collaborative approach between governments, businesses, communities, and individuals is necessary to achieve lasting change. Thank you for joining us on this journey to tackle ocean plastic pollution. Remember, every small action counts. Together, we can create a cleaner, healthier world for future generations. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to spread the message.